Welcome to some more Magic the Gathering, or welcome in general to my channel. Today we're playing some Modern Dredge. We are doing a one-off um, from work and stuff. I just don't have time to put in more than really one match. So we're just doing a one-off uh, with Modern Dredge. I wanted to play a little bit more Dredge. I uh, had a really good time last time I played it. And that's why we're doing what we're doing. So we're going to try to get into a single match with Dredge. And if you're not familiar with Dredge, uh, basically what the deck is, is you are milling yourself a ton to get uh, certain effects. Um, I've done deck techs of this before. <clears throat> you can check those out. I'm just trying to get through this quickly. They're playing a 61 card deck. Interesting. Um, I think this is a bad hand. Two Narc Amoebas in hand. We have other Whirly Gaze, but we don't have another card for Thrilling Discovery yet. I think it's a mulligan. This is also a bad hand because we don't have. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. We're going to bottom you. Probably stink we imp. And roll it like that. Probably just lead on Mana Confluence. Probably what I'm going to do. Another otherworldly gaze, huh? Triome. Huh. Okay. I'm going to fire this otherworldly gaze off on, our, on their main instead of their end in case we hit a prized amalgam. No prized amalgam, but... What? Oh, they changed the wording on Otherworldly Gaze. That's really weird. Yeah, they changed the, wor the wording on Otherworldly Gaze to Surveil. I guess that's Surveil's ability, but, like, it's really strange. It threw me off to where I was like, what? You know, I was like, I don't understand what's going on here. I'm going to upkeep Otherworldly Gaze. I don't have an upkeep step. That stop. Um, We're going to get a Silver Schmoot Ghoul, so that's pretty good. Attack you for one. Last turn. Get back one of our ghouls. We do have a stinky in the graveyard, don't we? How rude. <gasps> How rude. I'm just main decking relics. Okay. Sure. Sure you are. Um.
Put it in graveyard, put it in graveyard. Put it on top. <laughs> nice. You've been bamboozled, opponent. So they just have another relic. <clears throat> Next turn, we'll just fire off this thrilling discovery, more than likely. Uh, I'm going to do Otherworldly Gaze in our upkeep. All right. <laughs> Easy enough. Um... Don't know entirely what graveyard hate they're going to have. Uh, I am going to bring in these caverns, though. I'm going to go down one fetch. I you just go down two fetches when you do gravestone, gemstone caverns. I'm not sure. I'm debating on what I want here for sideboard help. Do I want Agent Grudge or I just want Prismatic Ending? I think I just want Prismatic Ending. Go down a... I'm probably just going to go down the Dark Blasts in general. Do that and then one Ox. Well, the creeping chill in hand kind of sucks, but like, otherwise it's a good hand, so I'm going to keep. Well, they begin with Leyline of the Void. <laughs> We're going to Wooded Foothills. Fetch up, uh, fetch up a uh, sacred foundry. Not yield through turn. Drew a second creeping chill is pretty frustrating. Not gonna lie. Those are not good hits. Well, thanks, opponent. I'll take your Urborg. Um, I'm actually kind of happy about that. So I think we just Ox here, honestly. It's going to fetch now. That way we don't mill over a fetchable land. Uh, I'm going to grab the Blood Crypt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ox of Agonas. <gasps> Opponent, rude. I don't really care that much.
Oh, what are you? Oh my script. No. Whatever. I think Creeping Chill's effect still goes through, though. No? Okay. No. That's fine. How many prize magnets we still got left in deck? They only hit two. Okay. <clears throat> um, and then I'm just gonna ditch ox. I mean, I guess I could get another one, but whatever. Ensnaring Bridge? Okay. Is this a Lantern? Is that what this is? Upkeep. Guess I don't have a way to cast life alone, do I? Whoops. <laughs> Hindsight, forty fifty. Yeah, whoops. Hmm. That's probably how we lose, right? Pretty good. I can see why people play this card now. I think this is the right move, and then we can start firing off these, uh, Creeping chills. Pretty sure we lose to this card, though. Pretty positive of it. Yeah, so that was just an alt art, Karn. I was like, is there two Karns that do the same thing? Technically. <laughs> but same same card, different art. That's where I was confused about. Okay, now they're going to start popping our lands off. 
Just a soul tie control deck. Um Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna concede. They got the liquid metal coating coming, so um I still think prismatic ending is probably not right. So I don't like Ray of Revelations very much. I'm just gonna bring in the, the other ox. Go down you, bring you guys back in. And the idea is let's go turbo. Um Don't know how I feel about this hand, honestly. It It's like one land, not one land, it's like one dredger away from being really good. We might be able to otherworldly gaze for it. I'm going to keep. What did foothills into steam vents into otherworldly gaze? Oh. I'm going to keep one, and my reasoning for that is because this other land's a gemstone mine. Oh, it was two more lands underneath? Holy smokes. That's some, like, serious flooding. Well, hopefully if they don't nuke our graveyard, we can ox. They shock in Overgrown Tomb. Okay, they're doing something else. Well, that was rude. Um, okay. Can't upkeep otherworldly gaze, which is annoying. I'll give opponent that. Oh, come on. We drew another Narc Amoeba? Really? Um... One, two, three... Probably not the smartest... Interesting. Probably not the smartest move, but Ox is, from the removal I've seen, going to be a little bit annoying, I think, for them to deal with. Yeah, upkeep, fire you off. Put in the graveyard.
Our opponent's deck is cool. I'll give him that. It's a lot of stuff that I like when it comes to more of a control shell. But I wish they would stop doing things that hurt me. Let's not have enough mana to what they think they do. Comes in Karn. Sure. What's Karn going to get? Or mod script, probably. Yup. Yup. Sure. I'm fine with that. We're going to kill this Karn, though. Uh, maybe. Depends on what happens here. I'm gonna dump them all into the graveyard. <laughs> These draws have been so garbo. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Karn. I think. Ooh. Expedition map? I have five in the graveyard for Thrilling Discovery. I mean, not Thrilling Discovery for Ox. Okay. I put that on top of my deck, didn't I? This is stupid. Didn't matter, did it? Cool. Well, we got there. <laughs> Our bonus deck was pretty cool. I'll give them that. The bonus deck was pretty cool, but uh, we did our thing, which is we solitaired and won. <laughs> um, Ox is just so powerful. Just such a great card. I wish when I played Modern more and played Dredge more that Ox was a was a thing because I really love it. Um, but yeah, so not too bad. I just like like I don't know. I just like I've always liked Dredge. It's always been a game strategy I've been a big fan of. It feels like maybe it's where I'm. I don't know if I'm say getting used to the meta, but maybe it's where I'm getting used to running this version of Dredge more. That I'm having a bit more success, I don't know, with it. But, like, I felt like for a while it was playing against the meta was really oppressive. And maybe the meta is just not super graveyard heavy right now. But it feels like the way this deck is built, that it bounces back from graveyard hate a little bit better than it used to. If that makes any sense. It's a little bit, it feels like it's a little bit easier to bait them to fire off their graveyard hate. And then it's a little bit easier to bounce back from it. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's the way it feels. But uh, yeah, that's it's been this one-off match of Dredge um, next week. I should be back to the three matches an episode. I just, with work last night and today, it's not uh, really that feasible. So hope you enjoyed it. If you had, you can press that subscribe button. The little bell notification lets you know anytime that I upload videos if you're not already subscribed. Also, liking the video helps a lot. Um, I do a bunch of other video games as well. If you want to check out any of that stuff, there will be a little end screen that will have 
uh, what YouTube has considered the best video of mine for you. <laughs> so if you're interested in whatever pops up, there you go. Also, if you ever want to know my opinions about movies or keep up with movies or anything like that, I have a movie channel that's linked in the description below that recently, recently just hit a thousand subs. I'm very excited about that. And I uh, hope you all enjoy your weekend, your Saturday and whatnot. So I will see you later. Peace.